Hi, I'm Bobby Balicki from the National Electrical Manufacturers Association, better known as NEMA. Thanks to the U.S. Department of Energy, we are proud to present Bids for Grids, new media for the energy workforce. In partnership with George Mason University, Northern Virginia Community College, and NEMA members, we've developed a series of short educational videos introducing electrical equipment that's used in the smart grid, the electrical grid for the 21st century. This series is going to present a dozen of the most important products that are critical to a smart grid success. Our mission is simple, to make you more aware of smart grid technologies and help you consider a career in power engineering. This edition of Bids for Grids takes us to Warrendale, Pennsylvania, where we will visit Eaton, who manufactures surge protective devices, a vital part of the smart grid. Here we are outside the black and yellow city of Pittsburgh at Eaton Electrical. Today we're going to learn about surge protective devices and their importance to the smart grid. So let's go take a look. A surge protection device is basically a device, a power electronic device, that takes a dangerous voltage that's going to enter into your system, your house, your dorm room, your plant, and actually damage electronic equipment. And as we all know, we have lots of money invested in electronic equipment, whether it's in our plant or our home. And so what this device does is it reduces the voltage that goes into the equipment and thereby protects the equipment. These things are made to last over and over and over, and a well-designed one will last 20 or 30 years and give you a long life expectancy for equipment. What generally could happen is if you don't use something like this, we see damage on electronic equipment that now we just throw our equipment away, like a DVD player, for example. We might take a $60 DVD player and throw it in the garbage because it was damaged by a surge. We just think it was poor components, but in fact, it was a surge that came into our home and damaged the equipment. If you think about smart grid today, one of the most important pieces of smart grid are the electronic components that make smart grid possible. So you think from solar inverters all the way out through smart vehicle charging and all the electronics that are in our homes and vehicles and devices today. So surge protection plays well into that because surge protection is the number one insurance policy against physical and disruptive damage on electronic equipment. And nowadays, a lot of times, if you buy a $3,000 TV, the first thing you might do is go ahead and buy a surge strip. But the, the thing that we forget is everything in our home is interactive, and sometimes a disruption from one part of the house, let's say a, a ceiling fan coming on or an air conditioning kicking on, could cause disruption on some other piece of equipment. So we need multiple levels of surge protection in our homes, in our businesses, to fully protect against the kind of damaging things that can go on in our power system. Typically, you want to have a two-stage approach to installing surge protection. Your first stage on your surge, surge protector should be at your main to capture transient and lightning events coming into your facility. Your second stage should then be used on your sub-panels to lower the let-through voltage from the first stage down to a level at which it will not damage equipment that is attached to that second stage. Also, you want to make sure in your systems that anywhere where you have equipment that could be generating transients, such as load switching devices, that there are two stages of surge protection between a transient generating piece of equipment and another piece of equipment that is sensitive to transient events. The best way to ensure that your surge protected device is going to perform as you intended to is to make sure that when you're purchasing the device that it is a listed device. Listed surge protective devices must have safety controls in that device. These safety controls ensure when the unit fails under adverse conditions that it does not fail in a catastrophic manner. Unlisted devices may or may not have these safety protections. When those units fail, they could fail very catastrophically and cause collateral damage to attached equipment as well as other, other pieces of equipment in the vicinity of that installation.
The uh, role of surge protection and renewable energy will be to increase the reliability and the resiliency of that equipment. The longer it lasts, the more it can produce energy, the more resilient our grid will be. We want to add surge uh, solar power and wind power to make our grid more reliable so that we can produce more energy so that we don't have to do rolling brownouts or other outages and events. And surge protection is going to increase that reliability. Lightning is actually the number one cause of unplanned outages for a wind farm and obviously that's megawatts of energy that's not being produced for that amount of time. Over 50% of the problems that occur to the lightning are due to the control or, or balance of system equipment. And having surge protection to protect that equipment is going to greatly increase the reliability and resiliency of that equipment. A lot of these devices are remote. Solar farms, wind farms can even be out in the ocean or you know, in the desert or in the plains area. And having surge protection will prevent us having to go out there because these can, these can be hard to get out to or take a while to get out to maintenance and, and repair. Eaton Power System Experience here really provides a unique location to demonstrate the innovation and capability that we have as a corporation for the power systems and the smart grid coming out. Um, really we have the ability to showcase all of the equipment that you would have at a commercial site or industrial site or even your home. From backup generation to surge protection and breakers that protect you from overcurrent devices. We also have a big play on efficiency and where it comes to renewable energy or using variable frequency drives. Also safety as pertains to arc flash or other electrical, just electrical shocks that um, conditions too. Recently we just installed an electric vehicle supply station outside underneath our solar canopy. So if you had an electric vehicle, you would be able to come here and plug directly into the grid and, and charge up your vehicle. Careers will be affected by the smart grid in a number of ways. Primarily, the technology that's required to design, build, and manufacture the products required to operate the smart grid. A lot of these green technologies are new technologies, higher tech technologies, and the level of employees required to fill those positions are higher than traditional jobs that are out there today. So we see higher energy, greener technology being more complex many times, requiring uh, some new thinking, some, uh, some uh, more advanced thinking about how those products work and how they fit into the smart grid, driving higher needs for more advanced uh, learning and training. We look to have people that are self-starters, that can um, take that information, take that knowledge, and develop new products, new solutions that we can use in the smart grid and also in the greening of the electrical industry. Uh, with the introduction of more and more talk of smart grid and integrating devices, there is a lot of creativity that is needed and new thinking. New engineers coming in and more people that are younger and have more experience with the technology can bring an entirely different point of view into solutions that are required of problems that have never been experienced before. It is a growing market. Not only is there a lot of technology coming into it, but everyone's trying to tie everything together in the smart grid, get everything to work together, talk together, and also even work more efficiently to help the industry. Today we learned a lot about surge protective devices and their significance to the reliability of the smart grid. From Eaton Electrical, on behalf of NEMA, I'm Bobby Balicki. Five, three, two, one, action!